I guess so. You know, I'm kind of an aficionado on uh, good and efficient and practical landing gears like on this old ship of mine here that's only like 5 PC or something and on my new uh, newest ship here I have this one that doubles as like a towing arm it has a very low footprint it doesn't even block the turrets but today I review some landing gears from the workshop that are kind of well out there uh, <laughs> all right so for the first one we have this cool landing gear by Avalot that's a very interesting design all right let's spawn this and see how this works uh, hold on mm. oh these are designed to look like legs you can see that uh, this use a lot this uses a lot of hinges with pistons extending and retracting all right I'm attaching it to my <laughs> to my fighter here my fighter has legs now all right let's see if I can land with these legs huh. oh they're shaking <laughs> no all right I turn on the auto lock there we go. Uh, let me retract the piston. Oh, it's kind of wobbly once I disabled the inertia dampeners. Alright, retracting the piston now. No, no, no. That was a bad idea, hold on. Alright, so I'm guessing we, we shouldn't retract those. Retract those. Let me make the color match actually. There we go. It's the same color now. Oh. This is certainly an interesting landing gear. <laughs> My ship looks like it's dancing. So yeah, that's the <laughs> that's the cool landing gear by Eflot. How much PC was that? So the PC on that was 1323. I mean, this is not a practical landing gear, but if you want your ship to have legs, then well, this is the landing gear for you. Alright. So the next one is the custom landing gear by Requartz. Let's see this. So this one has 898 PCO. Seems to be using uh, hinges. Alright, let's spawn it. Alright, so this one is large grid. Mm, what? So there's a landing gear in there, but there are wheels. Wait a second. Are this small grid? Wait, what? So they start with large grid and then oh are this four <laughs> small grid pistons? Oh they use that trick to make the ball turrets to make a landing gear. There's a timer block here. And this is crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna try a I'm gonna try attaching this to my large grid ship. Alright, I'm spawning my older ship that doesn't have a turret underneath to make it easier to attach the thing here. Well, I do have a single interior turret underneath the ship. Alright, let's drive this now, I mean fly this. So, I'm guessing the idea is for the landing gear to be like retractable, right? So. Hold on, let me delete one of these, it should be fine. We can put it here, right? Like this. And it will be flush with the hull. That's that's actually pretty cool, if not for the crazy implementation. So if I uh, like reverse the hinge here. So it should be kind of flush, not completely flush, but it's certainly very flush with the hull. Alright, like, let's extend it again and we're gonna land with, land with it. Let's check the timer first though. So the timer is landing gear reverse. I'm not sure what the timer is for. I'm not gonna try to do things with it for now. It's basic. It's probably just to extend all the things and, you know, make it rotate and stuff. I'm also not gonna retract the pistons because it's very self-explanatory explanatory what they are supposed to do. So I'm just gonna try to land this now. Here it goes. 
All right, we're landed. I'm turning off the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that was close. All right, so I'm guessing I need to lock the hinges before I turn off my dampeners. All right, my hinges are locked. I'm gonna turn off the dampeners. Oh, all right, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. So I'm guessing it would probably be a good idea to have like multiple of this just to make sure your ship doesn't get tilted on one side like that I'm also guessing the wheels are to protect the whole landing gear assembly because wheels are pretty strong when uh, put that way Alright, I, I'm gonna try moving the ship around and we'll see what happens what's gonna happen with it here goes Oh, so that's actually quite strong. You can see, you can see the gear there, holding the ship down. That's actually pretty crazy. All right, so that was pretty interesting. So for the next one, is the one that wow, what, what is this? This is the landing gear that inspired me to make this video, and I saw this on the workshop. Ah, uh, what? So there's pistons here and there's hangar doors rotors what what what's what's happening here there's a merge block huh there's a hinge and more merge blocks what small grid timers on a <laughs> Wait, what's what's happening? I'm confused, guys. It also looks funny, the shape. Alright, I'm just gonna push the button. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna push the button and see what happens. Whoa. Whoa, what's happening? Uh, oh! Oh! I get it now. So the whole thing gets retracted upward. And uh, what are these rotors for? Anyway, so the whole thing retracts upward and these hangar doors close. But I don't know, that's, that's pretty crazy. Like you can even enter the whole assembly room here, maybe to fix it or something. So I'm guessing the merge block detach and then it's attaching to the merge blocks up there. Oh that's for stability that's actually pretty smart if not for the fact that the whole assembly costs like 3835 pc so that one was the suspension rotor landing gear concept mark 3 by kenneth 10508 i think that's the most intricate and crazy landing gear assembly we've seen so far Maybe you want something like this on your 100,000 PC ship or something. Alright, let's check the next one. So this one is landing gear example by Hans Crab. What? Oh, it's like it comes with the whole ship. Let's... Oh no no, there's a spaceship! Alright, I'm gonna spawn it this way. There we go. Alright. Ah, uh, I get it. This is very simple. So it has uh, rotors. And pistons, I'm guessing they just, you know, they rotate and then they ex extend. It's pretty self-explanatory. Let's extend this. Oh, there's three of them. I'm gonna try putting it up right now and see if it can handle the whole ship falling a bit. Oh, oh! <laughs> Alright, uh, you probably shouldn't be landing too hard with that with those landing gears configuration I mean with that landing gear configuration that's very interesting actually I feel like that's something you made you make if you're new to space engineers that would be something that I will I would have probably made as well if I were new so that's pretty interesting and the last one is the simple landing gear by Goblin and this one has 440 PC with 126 blocks. I'm guessing this is small grid. 
Uh, let's put it sideways. Oops. Uh, let's put it this way. What are these? I'm gonna put a button panel. Activate landing gear. Alright. Let's start it. Does it need battery? This doesn't come with a battery. Oh, there we go. Alright. So it uh, it goes up. Alright, so this is just a very simple landing gear. I'm not gonna... Well, I guess I can try attaching it to my fighter and see what happens. There we go. Alright, oops, it gets something gets destroyed by the thruster. Then if we we'll land this... Oh, there we go. Uh, it, uh, it's pretty simple and it works. It's kind of crazy though to see the, the length that people will go to just to have like very flush landing gear like this. I mean, you can just use magnetic plates these days. Back then you kind of have to use, you know, the landing gear and you have to make it flush somewhere, so... That's kind of understandable if you're really concerned with your ship aesthetic that much. So just keep in mind, when you use subgrids for landing gears like this, they are always unstable. So yeah, those are uh, five custom landing gears from the workshop. A lot of them are certainly not again very interesting you can find the links in the description below